Hello and welcome to the 38th video in this series programming a chess engine and GUI in JavaScript. So uh, we came over, we've crossed a, a, a large bridge in the creation of this program now and that is completing the make move generate and take move and now we're going to in this video write the functions the perf test function that just tests the integrity of this move generator. So I showed at the end of the last video parts of the snippets of this perfsuite.epd file which has lots and lots of positions and the leaf node counts at various depths. And just to clarify what the, the leaf node is, if you imagine we had a position where each side has two legal moves and we wanted to do a perf to depth two. So say white made his first move, black would then make his both his replies, so we would have three moves in the tree. White makes his second move, so the fourth move in the tree, and then black makes his two replies to that as well. So we would have six nodes visited in the whole tree, but leaf nodes are at the end of the tree, so they would only be in this depth two case, black's moves. So that would give us then four leaf nodes, six nodes in total, including white's two moves, but four leaf nodes. So leaf nodes are simply the count at the bottom of the tree. And that's what we see in this file here. So for example, in the start position to depth five, there are 4.865609 million nodes to be visited. And I'm not going to run through all these positions in this video in this file, but I just wanted to show you a couple of positions and we don't worry, we weren't running too deep so it won't take too long, just to show that the integrity of the move generator is okay. I've been through all the positions already. And there are some really good, if you're writing your own chess engine in a different language or sort of getting just ideas from these videos, there are some really tricky positions in this file here, particularly the second one tests most eventualities once you get up to depth five. And down the bottom are some very, very tricky positions such as this one here, which has three pawns on the seventh rank for both black and white and some knights and the kings next to the pawn. So it really tests your attack detection and promotion and things like that. So without further ado, add a file in your JavaScript folder called perf.js where we're going to put the perf functions. And because these aren't integral really to the actual working of the whole chess program, they can just be used for testing the move generator. I'm going to paste most of this code in so this video doesn't take sort of half an hour. Before we do that, in devs.js, check please your m flag ca, your castling flag, that there are six, not five zeros here on the end of there. And in the main.js, I've cleaned up and removed a lot of the code here. I just print the board now to the console after setting the start fen. And then inside index.html, I've added in the script link already to the perfed.js below the makemove.js. Okay, so we're ready to implement then the perfed uh, functions here. And the first thing we're going to do is decline a variable that keeps track of our leaf nodes. And now what we're going to do is write the actual perf function to a given depth. And as I said, I'm going to go through this very, very quickly. I'm going to call this f uh, function perf, surprisingly. And if we're at depth zero, so we have no depth left. So imagine if we're doing a depth two perf. Well, before white moves, depth to go is two. White makes a move, depth to go is one. Black makes a move and then depth to go is zero. So we then count that node. So that's how we're doing that here. So if we come into our perf function, the remaining depth is zero, then we return after incrementing our leaf nodes. Otherwise, what we need to do is we need to generate all of our moves. And you've seen this before in the print move list. And then we need to actually loop through all of our moves that we've generated. And again, I'm going to drop this in very quickly because you've seen all this before in the print move list code. So we simply using index, loop through our game board move list and get all our moves in this legal position, make the move, continue and don't do anything if the move was illegal, so make move returned false. Otherwise we do perf then to a depth minus one, which will then keep going through the tree down to the bottom where we depth naught, where we increase the leaf, uh, increment the leaf nodes. And when that's returned, then we take the move back and the only thing we need to do at the end of this function then is return. We have nothing else to do. So on the bottom of this per function, the only thing we need to write in addition to that is just the actual test function to say, okay, we're starting our test. And again, this will be a bit of a quick copy and paste in job because it's got not much relevance to the actual workings of the chess program itself, but it's just for test. 
So we'll call this function perf test. I'll just scroll down a little bit more so it goes up to the top. And print the board to the screen, print something helpful to the console, reset our leaf nodes to zero, and now exactly the same as for the perf function, we simply have to loop through our moves with a couple of differences. And I've pasted all the code in here and I just talked through it. So this is the same as above. We loop through our moves. We have a move num variable here just to print to the console. And the one interesting thing we're doing here, and the reason we have this function separate from the perf, because we could, as you've probably thought already now, just go straight into the perf function, is because I want to be able to print the result of the perf test in a format. So rather than saying result was for whatever million nodes, I want to print it so. So from the start position A2, A3, visit had 30,000 nodes. A2, A4 had 45,000 no leaf nodes and so on. And the reason for this is, and it's a very helpful tip for when you're actually debugging your own engine or writing your own engine from scratch, is because often you'll find that, say you're searching to depth 5 from the start position and you should have, I'm just going to copy this since I've got the right number, 4, 8, 6, 5, 6, 0, 9 nodes, you'll often end up with, you actually end up with 4, 8, 6, 5, 7, 3, 1 nodes. And as you can imagine, locating where your bug is or why starts to become a little bit difficult. So what you can do is, you can say, let's put one more in as an example, okay, I'll look at the leaf nodes by move. And then you find a program, and there are plenty of the chess engines available free for download, have what's called a divide function, because this is known as perf divide when you show the number of leaf nodes per move. And you can run the perf divide with those programs. So let's say we ran it with, there's an engine called Sharper that I always use, because it's also fairly quick. Say Sharper had the following results. It had 30,000 for A2A3, and 45,000 for A2A4, and for B2B3, it had 40,000 and 100 and let's say 51, I can't remember. Then, then you know that, okay, Sharper has made 151 more moves after B2B3. So what you can do then, you, you can make the move B2B3 and then do a perf on that position with one depth less. So that would now be to depth four. And then you would see all the replies to B2B3 so something like A7A6 might have then 2,000 and A7A5, I'm sure you get the idea, might have 1,000. And then you run from that position to depth 4 with Sharper and you might now see something like, okay, A7A6 has 2,011. You'd say, and then 1,000, so correct from A7A5, you say, okay, so now I'll make A7A6 and do it to depth 3. And basically you recurse then back to eventually finding at depth 1, why you're not making or depth two, not not making or unmaking the move correctly, and you don't have to look through many positions to actually find where the error is. And if you just did that to depth five, where you can't really realistically print 4.8 million positions to the um, screen and check through all of them by hand. So that's why we're going to implement this perf test function as a bit of a long-winded explanation, so that we can print the leaf nodes for each individual move. So what we do is, is we make a cumulative node so far here, which is the leaf nodes. Then we search this move. And then we simply say the old nodes is the leaf nodes minus the cumulative nodes. And print those then to the screen, because they're then the leaf nodes that we searched only for the particular move in question. And then at the end, we simply print the whole result to the screen. So all remains to be done is to take this perf test function and inside GUI, I'm going to put it here and go to depth five for the start. I'm just going to go to perfsuite.epd and take the starting position here. And now go into the good old browser and hold my breath and hope that everything is okay. So I've pasted this in here. I'm going to just go down to the console and hit set position and now you can see that the perf test is running, giving us the number of leaf nodes by move. And at the end, you can see we have indeed searched 4865609. If we decide to take one of the particularly evil positions, so let's drop down to the bottom here and take this one here. 
and I'll leave this going to depth 5. It's only 1.5 million positions, so it'll be over very quickly. So I'll just go up to the top, paste this position in, hit set position, and now the perfed is running again, as you can see. And you can see from the game board here that it's a particularly evil position because when something promotes here, the king will be attacked, limiting the moves. And we've got 153, 3145 leaf nodes visited, and indeed 153. 3145 is the depth 5 target for here. So as I said, I've been through all of these positions already up to depth 6 and everything passed the perf test OK, so I'm fairly satisfied that the move generation is working. So now we've completed that, the next steps in the program are to actually start implementing the search algorithm so the program can actually start thinking and playing some chess. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.